intervention. Um, we are delighted to announce that we have a very special uh, program planned uh, for you and your enjoyment uh, by Romanian-American pianist uh, uh, Catalin uh, uh, Dima. He is joining us from his studio uh, at uh, Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Mr. Dima performed uh, in uh, many venues uh, throughout the US, Europe and Japan. Uh, he also uh, uh, had solo appearances, uh, including concerts uh, with the uh, uh, Georgian Esco Philharmonic Orchestra in Bucharest, uh, the, the Washington uh, Sinfonietta in Washington, D.C., where, of course, he's, uh, uh, he's one of our, uh, he was a resident for a long time, and that's how we, uh, we've known him very well. He played actually also at the Cosmos Club, where we met. Um, and uh, he played at the Shenandoah Conservatory uh, Symphony Orchestra in Winchester, uh, Virginia. And today he's playing for us on Zoom. Uh, I hope you'll appreciate that. Uh, as, we, as we listen to, to him and chant us, um, I would like you to think of all performance artists, um, not just Romanian American performance artists, but all American performing uh, performance artists, uh, whose, whose very existence was uh, appended by the current pandemic and uh, who nonetheless find the strength to volunteer and dedicate their time and skills to causes such as this of bringing us together. Um, I would say the, that the, the Zoom podium is, is yours, Catalin, uh, if you hear me, but, uh, but I think the reverse is true. You, you are welcoming us into your studio. Greetings, everyone. Yes, uh, I am in my studio and uh, I'm together with my wife and uh, we have also a lot of stories and I know the time is very short, but the uh, coincidence is that it seems everyone has a connection with this city where we got married. And uh, it's obviously uh, one of our special <laughs> times in, in lives. But uh, yes, uh, long story, short story, I am a piano professor here uh, at Southeastern Oklahoma State University, where we are right now in uh, Durant, Oklahoma. So it's another part of this uh, US which seems to have so many interesting and amazing stories and I'm glad that we are all here to learn about them. So uh, I have also another introduction which will come uh, in my video. I just wanted to share with you the fact that I did this video especially for this conference and the music, everything I played was in the music building which Unfortunately, we cannot share it to the physical audience, which was great for me under this circumstance because I could use it to share it with you. So we were, we were concerned about the quality of the sound and streaming, and we wanted to ensure that we minimize uh, the, the technical challenges, obstacles. Yes, and I read, a Thank few, you. I read a few messages that people were concerned about sound. Uh, it's probably a technical uh, matter. If you have uh, Wi-Fi, it's usually the case that the sound might be a little behind or the image. So let's see how this goes. But thank you for pouring uh, uh, your soul into into these performances uh, that you've done for for us. I know you've been working on them for for weeks now. We greatly appreciate it. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'm not sure if everyone can see this video. Yes. Can you see the video? Yes. Great, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Catalin Dima, and I teach piano at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. It's been an eventful year so far, full of difficult challenges. And as a musician, among the toughest is not being able to perform a live concert with an audience in the same room. Only now I realized how much I miss a random phone ringtone during a concert. Isn't that something strange coming from a musician? 
Anyway, I am very grateful to Theodor Stan, the president and founder of IRF, for organizing this wonderful event and for inviting me to play a music program for you. As you can already see, I am not in my house, although I would love to have uh, all this at home. I am in the concert hall here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University, and I am more than grateful to be able to use it during times like this. 2020 is a unique year for many reasons, but in music, it also marks Beethoven's 250th anniversary. Therefore, I would like to start the program with the 32 variations in C minor by Ludwig van Beethoven. It is a collection of 32 short pieces that differ in character and technical difficulty. But due to its virtuosic nature, I assume that Beethoven wrote this uh, cycle for his students in order to help them improve their technical abilities. The second piece in the program is the Sonata Opus 111 in C minor, also by Ludwig van Beethoven. Mm -hmm. Throughout his whole life, Beethoven composed 32 sonatas only for piano. And this represents a very important stage in the entire music literature. It allows us performers or musicologists to see Beethoven's growth from a young piano virtuoso to later on a mature composer. The sonata I'm playing today is his very last one, the 32nd. It has two movements, very contrasting. The first being a stormy and dramatic, very much like his own personality. And the second one, serene, meditative, and reflective. It feels as if Beethoven compressed in a way all his life in this work from the times he was struggling with his loss of hearing to his very last years when he was trying to find his inner peace. Therefore, this is a very heavy philosophical piece, but it represents one of the most beautiful music works ever written for the piano. At the end of the program, I am going to play a Romanian piece by Tiberiu Bredician. It's a surprise. I tried to prepare for this event in particular. And <coughs> the composer, Tiberiu Bredician, is not very much played like other Romanian composers, but he's one of the most famous Romanian composers of 20th century. The piece is titled Brul, which means the waste. And this is inspired by a Romanian folk dance, which traditionally uses a sash or waistband like mine, but is very short and extremely happy. And in a way, this shows how important dancing and partying are for the Romanian people. <laughs> so with all this being said, I Hope you will enjoy the music.
And let me show you the zoom. The following piece, which I shortly described, is also by Beethoven. It's the uh, last piano sonata. And it has two movements.